So I know it looks like we're bought. I promise you we're not. Uh, let's get our review sheets out here quick. Yeah, they got a lot of paper in here for some reason. Like they put tissue a lot paper. of a lot of tissue paper in there. Hang on, I just gotta get this stuff out of here. Just, 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 just it's Phil. Right here. Just, just give Phil. me a minute. Phil, I'm working on. It. Just give me a minute, Phil. I got it. I mean, they got all this stuff in there. I gotta get this stuff out of here. Well, I mean. I do love Oh, baby. I got him. I oh, found him. Oh, you did? Yep, I found him. Here's our... Here's our... Okay. Just a message here. We are not bought. It was a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's someone's going to take it seriously. Yeah, they didn't put... They didn't put that in the bag. We <laughs> did for the video. But speaking of which, yeah, I should probably put it back in the bag. <sighs> Terror mm. on the Fox 2024. Take it away. Terror in the Fox is a legendary haunted attraction near the National Railroad Museum. Will you hold the microphone up to my face? In downtown Green Bay, it boosts a unique train ride, a crash pirate ship disaster, and a haunted house with abundant special effects actors and spirit. I can remember Terror on the Fox as far back as my days as an early high schooler and even coming out of college, watching a big hulking clown dude with a grim smile and a giant mallet stalking up and down the aisles of the train. I'm glad I could be there for what many have considered to be the glory years of Terror on the Fox. That, however, is not what we're here for tonight. Instead, tonight, the Blood Queen and her minions, Birthday Girl and the Swashbucklers, have requested our presence to review Terror on the Fox in 2024. Many of you probably remember our scathing review for this haunt from 2022, in which, to sum it up quickly, we basically said it was shit. Since then, 2023 saw a welcome return to form for Terror on the Fox. So far, the two times I've experienced a show previously this year, like a good swig of rum, have washed a very bad taste from my mouth for previous years. So tonight, welcome to a new season here at Is It Scary Wisconsin, and welcome to Terror on the Fox 2024. As we stated earlier, our new scores will be 80 points each, reviews based on general aspects of haunts as well as, score, as, well as scare points, with the remaining 20 points coming from our personal thoughts as well. At the end of the show, we're going to shoot the shit, give a total score, and final thoughts on the hunt. Without further meandering, let's get right in to the review. 2024, let's go. What is this, six years? Yep, six years. Six years. Is there a website? Yes. Does it have good information? Yes. Is parking available on site? Yes. Is it clearly labeled? Yes. Is there a clearly labeled entertainment ticket booth? Yes. Does it present prices and rules? No. Clear queue lines? Yes. Are the attractions clearly marked? Yes. Are the atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate? Yes. Did actors stay in character? Yes. Did the haunt, was the haunt fully well, well staffed? Kind of. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? Yes. Was the lighting used in the haunt appropriate? Yes. Were there any unusual scents? No. Did you catch another group? Yes. Was the scenery appropriate? Yes. Did the haunt maintain immersion? Yes. Was the walking path safe and well maintained? Yes. Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Yes. Did the haunt have a good atmosphere? Yes. Final score, 34 out of 40 for general. I think I gotta check this for fruit flies. Dude, I'm, I and that happened earlier before we came Stay to the box. I was gonna drink my water and there was something black and it was a fruit fly. Did actors attempt to scare you? Yes. Were were masks used of good quality? Yes. <laughs> Did props seem real and scary? Yes. Were the actors in the correct positions to enhance the scares? I gave a half point, a one on that one. Were there a variety of monsters, haunters on site? It, was, it wasn't all zombies or werewolves, etc. Uh, unless explicitly stated in the theme, I give them a yes. Did actors try to scare you twice in a scene? Yes. Did actors try to scare you three times in a scene? Actors and props? Yes. Did any actors scare from below the waist? Yes. Did any actors scare from above? Yes. Was there more than jump scares in the haunt? I gave them a four out of five, which, yes. Was there a go home scare? A very a scare in the very last room, and that's a yes. And uh, use my finger like a kindergartner. 
were this were the scares the same as last year and is it just the SOS same old spooky I gave them a I, oh I meant yeah I, sh I should probably put a no so I gave them five points on that one because it really did feel kind of different this year uh, did actors seem well trained and enthusiastic yes were all props animatronics and devices in working order yes were, were there any unique scares yes did anyone scream get out no thankfully and did any sound used enhance the scares and i would say yes all of those with a combined total of 38 points on the yes or no questions so before any sort of personal modifiers out of 80 that brings their total to a 72. <clears throat> All right, we both gave him zeros. Few outside of people... You're supposed in... to laugh. Now it just seems like I'm a jerk. Continue. Few outside of people in the industry understand what really goes into building a haunted attraction. Everything from actor placement to perfect lighting to what sounds to put where and how to hide your trigger pads, it takes a lot. We haven't even gotten to dealing with the customers yet, and they can be the biggest pain in the ass of all. In general, as much as I've bitched about it in the past, let's take a look at everything that you get with your general admission price at Terror on the Fox. A ride on the train. Walk through the woods. You get scared in the house. The performances outside of the house. The incredible sets. The lighting, the sound systems, the bubble machines, the costumes, everything. It's nuts. At the end of the day, these haunted attractions are all trying to achieve one common goal. To scare and entertain each guest that walks through the door. Now, while I continue to maintain that your haunt must be scary... I'm trying to also remember that every dockside lamp, every rope, every bubble has a dollar sign attached to it as well, meaning it is very expensive to do this. While terror doesn't necessarily present its rules up front, at the very front of the place, they do present them on the train, before the train in line for the first attraction. While they do not present prices on site, they do online. I'm not a huge fan of dynamic pricing, which is, I believe, what this is to support. I'd like to see general prices posted somewhere. A few critiques I have for them going into this year. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about our experience on our walkthrough. Make this, make this feel like a memorial service. There, there were a few actors that we encountered, a few, keyword, a few, that it felt like we had limp interactions with. What I mean when I say this is there could have been more energy. There could have been more effort. It didn't feel as aggressive as it needed to be. However, I said few. For the most part, the actors that we encountered on our walkthrough were all in character. They all knew their characters. And they all played their part very, very well. Gage, your thoughts on some of the character interactions. When it comes to character interactions, that's one of my... The, the part that I enjoy the most. Um, uh, I like seeing how the different actors and actresses interact with the multiple attitudes of customers. Yeah. I feel like today we got a good gist of that. Uh, I agree. We had a group of adults in front of us having a good time, actors interacting with them. The way they should and an annoying group of boys behind us 
and they were, you know, always being rambunctious and crazy. Regardless whether the, however the attitude is being read by each customer, the actors knew how to read that perfectly and knew how to entertain and keep us all entertained. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they did a really good job of that. Um, some people I want to make sure I have a chance to call out here are some of the swashbucklers working outside of the crashed uh, Scarlet Storm, uh, the Blood Queen, and um, there's like a little jester girl that just kind of like laughs and like shrugs her shoulders and then she just kind of like walks off and like does her thing. These are actors and actresses that know their parts very well. Mm -hmm. These are actors and actresses that know their characters very well and their interactions with the customers with the patrons really reflected this because i saw adults like you said mm -hmm. 14 year old kids behind us both different age groups having a really really good time it was really nice to see that mm -hmm. reflected in the customer base and it was really nice to see how they were able to entertain people from all different ages and all different age ranges. Very, very exceptional. I really enjoyed that. I wanted to make a note that I do like how I can see them targeting the right people. Uh, he and I were in the train. We're kind of in the corner watching. <laughs> just we're, kind of, we're kind of hiding down we're, in the we're corner. There, we're just like they don't know we're here but yet. I see. Totally do. I see the actors and actresses walk up and down the aisle, and as they do on that train, oh, are they going after the ones that are just terrified? You yeah. can tell the yeah. ones that are hiding behind their yeah. friends. Yeah. Ooh, and then and their friends are like... Yeah, it's just, it, it's cute. I'm glad to see it. I know that really can be said for any haunt, but it's enjoyable to see, and keep up the good work on that. Yeah. The, uh, the actor interactions were great on this night. Uh and the two previous times I've been there this year, the interactions were also great. So that's something that I think is, I think it's safe to say that it's 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 assumed it's going to continue to be throughout the season. Mm -hmm. um, the actor training at Terror on the Fox has really uh, paid off. And the actors that we know, the actors that we have a chance to talk to, mm -hmm. um, they love what they do. You can and, really see it in their work. And they really, they want the best show possible for the customer, and that shows, right? We talked about this again two years ago during the not-so-nice review. The actors really save that performance. They really, they sell it. Right? They sell it like their lives and their jobs depend on it because, frankly, I think their jobs do depend on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, let's talk about the train. You mentioned it. We've, we've been kind of talking about the actors and actresses. The train felt better. It year. really did. And it felt better not just tonight, right? But, you know, I've been there twice already previously and you've been there once previously the the train this year feels better than it's been in years and it's, i don't mean two years or three years i mean five years plus the best way to say is that it's more intense this time yeah. the the lights are crazy the yeah. sounds are rambunctious and the actors are just everywhere. Yeah. And we counted four on the train. Yeah, that was uh, nice. That was a nice it touch. It was a really nice touch. And uh, I don't know if a lot of that has to do with, and now I, I, no one wants to hear me say this word in 2024, but, you know, I don't know if it has a lot to do with the fact that COVID restrictions are a lot more lax because I didn't, you know, back Or in non-existent. Non-existent. Which they should be. At this point. Uh, but all, what I'm saying is, is that, because I noticed back then, it was always lights on. It just felt, it sucked. But it really stepped it up. I'm glad to see it. 2024 was the season of the train. Yeah, it was. The, the train is definitely back in the limelight, I think. And speaking of the limelight, let's step right into the Scarlet Storm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the brand new centerpiece attraction for 2024. The giant crashed ship they have 
That's the nice big focal point of their first attraction, the walk through the woods. Of course, manned by Rust Hook and the swashbucklers out there. Mm-hmm. And the the line the line acting, the Q line acting, uh, on October fourth was fantastic. Like I said, entertaining groups of all ages, entertaining appropriately, different actors and actresses coming to and from the queue lines, not afraid to jump in, throw in a few scares, and then boom, they're on to the next one. They're moving their back to positions. Really, really good. And when you're standing there, you look at that awesome, awe-inspiring centerpiece. You know, I remember looking at the mausoleum a few times, and I remember thinking to myself, this is a really cool-looking centerpiece. And then when you actually go to it, you're like, yeah, this is shit. And do anything with it. This whole thing now is themed so well. And it just draws your attention up to it. It's a beautiful piece. They spent the time to work on it. They brought something new in. They've got this new theme, this nautical theme. I'm digging it. I'm digging what they did with that initial kind of zigzaggy walk to get you into the woods. Really good, well themed appropriately paced i liked it i liked it a lot centerpiece is probably the great word to say i mean to call it because as we're going throughout the haunt you can pretty much see it almost anywhere yeah you 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 know exactly where you're at it's it's a good kind of mental gauge of where this haunt is and where that piece is it it definitely is when we were going through that totally messed with me why did you do that (laughs) um it's a centerpiece it's the centerpiece but what I was saying was we're, we were staying in front of the house. Yep. What was what I pointed out to you? What did I say? You can see the ship behind you. Can you can see the ship. It's just, it, it's great. I like how you use that word because that's exactly what it was. Yeah. It's very, very excellent. And you know, I, I know this stuff is not cheap, right? And that's why I mentioned that previously during our introduction, right? Like think of how many different nautically themed lamps there are out there and all the different ropes and everything they've had. And time is money than manpower. Yeah, I mean, dude, you ain't wrong. Like, think about that. How much goes into making that performance happen? So let's talk about the trail. I want to get, I want to get real, like, really real for a second here. Yeah. So, the first two times I experienced the trail this year, it was so stellar. I mean, it was outstanding. That's not to say it wasn't good tonight. Unfortunately, we caught a really slow group in front of us. And that just bottlenecked the entire experience. And a fast group behind us as well. And then the 14-year-old boys got chased up behind us. And we got sandwiched in between two of the most annoying people at haunted houses. Mr. Scaredy Cat... And Mr. 14-year-old boy. Let me take a picture. Yeah, Mr. 14-year-old boy screaming, will you be my girlfriend? (sighs) Nice callback to a video I did last year. Gosh, that was years ago. Yeah, I know that. Will you be my girlfriend? 28, 19? Oh, my God. Anyway, the actors and actresses on the trail tonight did their best with what they were presented with. And I think that's reflected, again, in the people leading those actors and in the actor training that is taking place at Terror on the Fox. You can tell that the people, the, what are they, I don't, what do they call the Terror on the Fox? Actor leads or whatever? We talked about this. Team leads? Yeah, we talked about the team lead for the train. Uh And we were talking, you can tell the actor leads or the team leads, they care about these segments right they care about the queue line they care about the people who are in charge care about the train the people who are in charge of that trail they care about the trail you can feel it you can see it sure we've got a conga line forming let's keep working them guys get back in that corner and scare them again pop out again you got your little shaker box sneak in behind them and shake it when they're not expecting it you can tell that something has changed in the last few years at Terror on the Fox 
to bring back a little bit of the energy and a little bit of the panache that has been missing in the past years. I really enjoyed it, especially the first few times I was through. Unfortunately, we did miss some of the scares on the trail because we got bottlenecked between a few groups. Now that could just be a pacing thing, and it's still hard to plan for that when you have a group that, I don't wanna go first, no, I don't wanna go first, and then they stand there for 20 or 30 seconds. Hey, when I went through by myself, I naturally caught the group in front of me because I just wanted the stuffy. So I was just making a beeline through that house. Don't, don't scare me, don't scare me. No. Like, don't scare me, don't scare me. I just want I'm to get not, that I stuffed just, animal. I just, I just don't scare me. I just wish I could go straight to the gift shop. I would go straight to the gift shop, but they won't let me. <laughs> My point is, right, this can be hard to mediate. It can be very hard to tell which group's going to stop for 20 seconds and argue over who's going first. I, I won't blame that on Tara on the Fox. But I also can't look at that and say, I didn't catch another group because I did. So, I think the fact that we were still seeing, I'm leaving it on there. That bothers me. I'm sorry. These bugs are bothering I see the, it's because these bugs right are bothering me. No, it's not the bug, it's a black shelf in your white tag. Sorry, go ahead. I interrupted you. I think the fact that we're still seeing these groups getting scared during this bottleneck mm -hmm. and the fact that we're still seeing these actors you were putting these people these actors these actresses under extreme pressure oh guys we got a bottleneck at the back of the trail what do we do what are we gonna we got nine well, people in a row. is it scary guys in the middle what are we gonna what are we gonna do you know we gotta we gotta keep doing it, it takes good leadership i'll say it again it takes good leadership to keep everyone focused on what they're supposed to be doing when you have a bottleneck in a haunted house that's what we saw tonight we saw good leadership in an area where it can be very hard to recover from a botch like that and it's not even something that's necessarily tear on the fox's fault they did well on the trail I'm disappointed we didn't get all the scares because the previous two times we've been there, they were so damn good. Mm -hmm. The trail was actually the top, the top performing area previously. So then we come into the little fireside area. Cool looking area. You can hang out for a while if you want to get a bite to eat. I do appreciate that they merged it. Yes. From a general. Yes. Just VIP this to general. Bomb, bro, I'm glad you talked about that. Because I noticed that before going through general mission. I'm like... That looks so cool. Over there. I want a burger. Yeah, yeah I want yeah, a burger. Yeah, yeah. But no, I'm I'm a peasant. I bought General Mission. I think it's a I think that's a smart business idea. It's a it great is. way to make more money during the year, just from a business sense. And it's a great I way mean, to relax before yeah, going into the next. Yeah, time. I like it. It's smart. If there's a bunch of people in line, you want to get a beer and a burger, go ahead. It's a great idea. I like that a lot, actually. Um, yeah, let's get to the queue line in front of the house. We'll talk about some of the line entertainment. We'll talk about uh, some of the performance they do outside of the house, and then we'll talk about the actual experience in the house. Okay. That line. That. That line yeah. entertainment, though, bro. It really was. Now, we we saw all. Let me tell just us, get, tell us, Johnny. Do you want me to say it like ASMR? Say it like ASMR. We saw all walks of life waiting in that line to go through the terrifying house that is the terror on the fox. Not only were the actors and actresses playing the lines, but the entertainment on front of the, in front of that house, exquisite. Should we fist bump? <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I game. really should start doing some ASMR. I think you should do point. ASMR for live streams <laughs> once a week. I'd watch. But I would tune in, even if nobody else watches you. Seriously, though. the They worked that line very well. Yeah. Um, I... I even brought up to one. I said, hey, you're doing a great job. I'm glad to see it. And that entertainment, it was great. Yeah, I'm not going to dwell on it. Yeah, I think we were out there for like 30, 35 minutes or whatever. It didn't line. feel that long. It really didn't feel that long, which I think, again, speaks volume to 
the entertainment value at Terror on the Fox, right? We talked about this for the $25 ticket price. The entertainment value is pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. um, the actors and actresses are not too good to interact with individual groups, right? Like one one of the boys wanted to play rock, paper, scissors with one of the actors. Every actor. Saw him do it. No Every. problem. <laughs> saw him do it. No problem. Not only that, they stay in character. And one of them wanted a fist bump. No problem. They did it. You know, like I, I, I see these different things, right? And these are things that I see the maturation of the actors and actresses at Terror on the Fox has been so prime, has been so top-notch over the last few years now. You know, again, even during the year where the actual, maybe the haunt wasn't the best, the actors have just continued to grow and mature in their roles. And that has been very, very welcome. Um, I think... I think the the Blood Queen is a really great character to have outside of the house. Initially, I was kind of like, eh, shouldn't she be in the house? Like, shouldn't she be one of the scares? But I like how she's kind of welcoming you to the denizens of the house she's kind of like she's kind of like you know bringing you in so she's working the crowd out there i really like that and i like how she interacted with everyone i thought that was very very exceptional another thing i want to point out is there was an actress when we went through kind of like a maid like a house maid mm -hmm bringing groups into the haunt. Uh, what can you really do to work with two grown-ass men? Probably not much. Who are these losers? But we watched the interactions with probably 10, 15 groups before us. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about it. It's been a common theme in this review. The actors and actresses sell the show so damn well she was no exception she was on point in character we talked to her too we i i felt i tried to getting her talking yeah didn't say words she just wasn't really in, in she wasn't really interested in you she was gonna just kind of feather dust you out of the way and get you into the demons get in the house so i can get in the, the house group. so we can <laughs> kill the next group i'm not used to wearing hats it makes my head itchy it was good it was really good how about the performance outside of the house? It was great. It was, I, I really, I, I don't know how else I can really describe it, but, <clears throat> excuse me, the lip syncing yeah. was great. Uh, the music choice was great, as well as the so lights. Yeah. One song that they played felt like I was just being barraged with visual senses. Uh, it was definitely a, spectac a spectacle to behold with the eyes, and uh, just a delight to hear on your eardrums. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know what else I could really say. But you want to know what else I really enjoyed? That house. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when I first went through this year... I kind of expected the house to be mid, like it has been. Because usually the trail is the one that we're like, damn, okay, all right, we're coming to the house. Yeah, well, let's just get through <laughs> this and go home. We're coming to the house. <laughs> you know, and tonight with the bottlenecking on the trail, we were kind of like, please be good, please be good. We were literally like standing out there, and I think I said to you, I'm like, God, I hope this is good, dude. I'm like, I want. I even said to you, I want this house to be good so effing bad is exactly what I said to you. And Maid brings us in. And I don't know if we caught an actress walking in from a side door. But it didn't. Again. It worked. Again, the training is so good. She just fell right into character. Boom, scared us. Looked like she was leaving. 
came around the other side, got us again. Actor comes around the corner, spider prop thing. And it just, that pace continued all throughout the house. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention there were a few empty rooms. There were a few dead rooms in the house. However, comma, the rooms that had actors and actresses in it were top notch. The performance was top notch. The characters, again, knew their part to play. I really enjoyed tonight's house performance. It was good. No, it was great. Nay. Nay. Fantastic. It actually was. <laughs> the way you were saying it was fantastic. Brother, I thought you were going to give me an entire speech. I was about, oh to, give you, I was about to give you the Shakespeare. <laughs> give me the Shakespeare. Oh, you said <laughs> Hold a head. Where the hell would you get that? Anyways, what did you think about the house? So, I was really hoping that this house would turn around my experience. I want to make a quick note here. I, I just, I'm looking at your cup, and I see my cup. Please show your cup. I was just about to say we have the same cup, but he has a damn handle. Never mind. Put that back down. I feel cheap. Anyways, so... <laughs> Going into the house, I was really hoping, please turn this around, because I didn't, I didn't really enjoy the trail this time due to the bottlenecking. As you know, we've been there before. Yeah. I enjoyed the trail this time. It wasn't that great, uh, but that house did it turn it around? Did they have the misdirection? They had the right m moves, the right attacks on they the did. customer. Yeah, they did. Uh, mo for most of ninety percent of the rooms, I was thinking. Holy shit. Like, and I saw you jump. Yeah. I, I jumped. Yeah, they got me a few times. They got me a few times too. Yep. It was yep. really, really good. Usually the house doesn't get any scares out of me. I think they got me three or four times just in the house. It's like, oh, another air jet. Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> blowing air on my feet. Ooh, <laughs> you're real scary. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to fly away. Um, there were dead rooms. There I, were. I've, you and I audibly said, Another dead room as we walk through a few of them. And we could tell some of them were just, hey, slow the hell down rooms. Yeah. Kind of yeah. moving left, right, up and down, over and around. Now you're not moving up and down. The house the the house, the house, the house, paces itself really well. The house does pace itself. And I don't know if they turned up the lights. And I think they did this a couple of years ago. Uh, but they turned up the lights. And, like, I can just see more. And I was kind of enjoying. I was looking around. I, I And then while you were looking around, the actor or actress came around the corner you weren't yeah. expecting and got us. The One of the actresses, I can tell, you're like, get a move on, slammed on the wall next to me. And I'm just like, all right, fine. Just want to check you. out your crib. I was just trying to check out your crib, homie. Uh, meanwhile, in this house, too, I do want to make a big shout out to the one that went low. You know who you are. We kind of pointed you out. That was good. That was a yeah. really good job. Yeah, there's an actress specifically who came like sliding around a corner on us. That was probably scare of the night easily. And uh, also saved them two points on the review, too. It really did. It for really going, did. For going below the waist. That was really good. So all Because we all, were just talking about it, and I was like, We well, were. Well, technically, didn't that shake her? We not? were. You know, so we were kind of talking about it. It was like, has, as there we're going a, has there been a scare below the waist yet? I don't know. And like, right as we're talking about it, we come around the corner, and this chick just comes sliding around, like, snarls at us, scares the shit out of me. And I'm like, That's our scare below the waist. We're like, ah, High five. Ah. And we slap, and she's just like, What are these guys going on? about like, what the hell is wrong with these two get out hey hi what, what's going on check out my girlfriend um <laughs> check out my girlfriend there's dead body on the table all in all good. it was good they didn't change much when it came to rooms yeah which is fine yeah the house, the house is the every house, time the house is probably going to stay relatively similar but the actresses and actors really saved it yep. i just got water on my face they sold the performance like crazy so should we talk about our personal points we will uh i'll do that first yeah but i do want to talk about something that's really important and every every haunted house needs to have it this isn't an opinion you need to have it mm -hmm. you need to have a go home scare it's important every haunt has to have it 
You remember, Period. You need you need that little cliffhanger at the end of your uh, paper. You Every, really need something. Yeah, you need something to make the reader want to read your next 500 chapters. Did Terror and the Fox have that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to have a scare in your last room of the haunt. I'm not going to name the last room of the haunt. It's it's new from like last year, but um, they actually they had an actor actress in there, and they got us pretty good. It was kind of like a. Oh, is that them? No. Is that them? No. And here they are, and they got us the good scare. We call that the go-home scare. You need to have a scare at the last point of contact with your customers in your house. It is nice to see that Tara on the Fox understands that and is taking advantage of that and sending people out with a good scare. I like that a lot. Big points of Tara on the Fox for having a go-home scare. It's very, very important. Um, so I'll talk about my personal thoughts, and since right now they're at, like, what, a 72? So I'm just going to use your blank space to take some notes here. No! And if I need to put like a mark on it to mark every time I give them points, I will. So extra points tonight. Uh, from my personal experience, I'm giving a point for the, uh, for uh, I'm actually giving two points for stellar work on the train tonight. Very, very exceptional. So you're going to see I'm going to make two little tallies right there. It was, it was good. Everybody was interacting with customers. None of the actors seemed like they, quote, hated their lives and didn't want to be there. And they were all on point and they were all really solid and in character. I can appreciate that as somebody who has been on that train when the actors have not been that good. Just the truth. Mm -hmm. I also want to give an additional point. See how I'm making a mark right there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also you, want do you to, see this, buddy? Look, look, oh, I'm look, putting a look line. Right here. Oh, gosh, look. <laughs> wow. I also want to give an additional point. Apparently, I'm a kindergartner. <laughs> I got you, homie. I also want to give an additional point for Q line work outside the Scarlet Storm. It was very, very good. And we saw really solid interactions, again, with varying age groups. And we were there long enough with enough different Q-Line actors to see multiple Q-Line actors get solid reactions out of those different age groups. Mm -hmm. Really well done. I also want to give two points. You have to show me this time? Nope. You can follow along. I also want to give two points for the Scarlet Storm and for how they stay in theme with this nautical section during the walk through the woods. I really like the ship. I think it's awesome. Now, for some people, they were probably saying, I really like the mausoleum. I think it's awesome. Personally, I thought the mausoleum sucked. Personally, I thought it was one of the biggest wastes of spaces they've ever built because they did almost nothing with it. The Scarlet Storm fits the theme perfectly and it's an amazing centerpiece that people can look back at any place they are in the haunt. And it's not really like, you know, I'm not walking through there expecting to get jump scared in the ship because I don't get to walk through it anyway, which would have been cool as hell. Um, I'm giving an additional point to the actors that were working on the trail because even though there was a bottleneck that can throw most actors and actresses off, they stayed focused and they didn't let that deter them from continuing to do their jobs. I'm also giving an additional point. I know, is this wild? <laughs> You're just like, I'm going to give an additional point. You hear? You have 10, excuse me. I'm going to do an also initial. Make sure you see me put this line down first, Gage. Gage, hang on. Look. I'm also going to give an. Could you stay focused? I'm also going to give an additional point for line work in front of the house, as well as performance in front of the house. It was exceptional. I'm going to give an additional point <laughs> for, the, this for, for the fact that the house actually scared me this year. It was got some good jump scares out of me did. this year. And the actors in the house were really animated. They acted like they wanted to be there. 
and I didn't and I didn't walk through any of those rooms with an actor or actress and look at it and go, "Ah, oh, you were just going." That's not scary. If that's all you're gonna do, go somewhere else. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I mean I don't know how else to say it. But it's it's not scary. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's it. I give them an additional eight points. So currently they're sitting at an 80. It's your turn. I'm not giving you a point for this, but I really like your new stuffy and my girlfriend loves it. So thanks. I I had to go through alone just to get that, by the way. (laughs) I like how you did this, how you were just like going descriptive with it. I was going to be like, all right. I'm going to give him this amount of points. I'm going to give him four extra points. Oh, but for four. what, Gage? You have to say specifically what it's all right, for. All right. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go step by step. Walking into the house. Uh-huh. I love the security. I uh, loved the people at the ticket booth as well as the ticket takers. Um, I felt like, you know, they were a great way to kind of welcome you into the haunt. Uh, very descriptive. Very clear and concise yep. where you got to go. Yes, they did need points. Uh, they didn't need points, sorry. Yes, they did need um, uh, money, so, uh, signs. Oh my goodness, why, the word's escaping me. I took a stupid pill right now. The prices on the pay on the front, they needed that. I want to give them a point for that, though. The staff was great. Yeah, the staffing, staff, staffing was excellent. For the, n- 95% of it was yeah. good. There was one point where, like, had some more energy, dude. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Justin, I'm putting a point right there. Oh, Make sure point? you watch that. Oh, did you give him a point? Train. The intensity. I liked that. Yeah. It was great. Flashing lights. I felt like, and as we were going through it, I don't know if this was intentional, but I kind of picked up on how the intensity of those flashes really picked up towards the end of the ride. Um, I don't know if my eyes were just playing tricks on me. Uh, but I enjoyed that. And like I said, I saw actors, actresses being a banshee and swooping in on the unsuspecting prey that is the scared high schoolers. I will give that another point. You see that, Justin? You see what I, I see put it. right there? Yeah, I see it. Coming off the train. I like to see the actors come off the train there and hide in the trees. That's cute. I like that. Um, and now walking up to the Scarlet Storm. Storm. Does it really set the mood? Um, I also want to make note again. I already said earlier, staff. Helpful, point us the right way. Bar, uh, but, bars over here, general mission and fast pass over here. Do what you want to do. It's great. I love that. That's such an underrated thing. Um, going up to the um the Scarlet Storm. I said that right, right? I feel yeah, like I'm getting that wrong. That's what it is. It just it sets the mood, all right? You got you got the rules depicted on the... Big screen. Uh, what? Big screen. Big screen. And it looks great. It tells you what's going on. I'm going to give them a point for just the overall aesthetic. Bam. I see it. <laughs> I'm talking sorry. It's just because you kept doing that. Um, going through it. Now, again, the trail. It leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, act the 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 sca- clarify. It left a lot to be desired with the bottleneck. With the bottleneck. Uh, but like you said, they did a really good job working with it. Uh, I don't really want to give a point for that. So don't. So it's your point. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give one because there was at one point I saw this one actress, I believe, on my left. And to see her scare that obnoxious group of boys right behind us. And oh, dude, she did get them. She was winning. Oh because we saw her. And we saw her go yeah, around the corner. I looked at her. And she I'm looking at me. And I'm, and I'm looking like, at her. Right, just, I'll play stupid. And I'm I'll just, keep going. And I'm just like, so the fact, I mean, dude, the fact that she read that and didn't try to scare you, but like, dude, you could kind of hear these kids behind us. Yeah. Let me take a quick, uh, what, are they, what are they saying? Uh, uh, again, a point there. But what are they saying? It doesn't matter. Uh, moving on, uh, I liked uh, the overall performance of the haunt. The queue line uh, workers, they worked great. Give them a point for that. I'm going to start wrapping this up here for us. 
five points I am at right now. Yeah. Now that house, that house was something. And like I said, I went through the entire hunt and I'm thinking, boy, I hope the house is good. I hope this house is good. And it was. It was terrible. Okay, it was good. <laughs> it was good. I'm giving the point for that. So my total points is six. That puts him at an 86. That puts him at an 86 for a total score. Turn the Fox is a good aunt. You should go. And I wouldn't have said that to you two, 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 probably two years ago. We're not bought, by the way. No, we're not bought. Turn the Fox is a good aunt. You should go. Actors and actresses really care about what they're doing. It's very clear that a lot of time and effort has gone into making this haunt a stellar experience, a top tier experience, and I really hope that things for Terra and the Fox continue to go the way they are. Because if they do, I think the future is super bright for this haunted attraction. I think maybe after some lower quality, lower tier years in the past, hopefully those days are behind them, and hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Uh, the experience we had tonight was very excellent and i do hope that continues i'm justin with is it scary Tara on the fox scores an 86 joined by my best friend gage make sure you guys like the video your thoughts on Tara on the fox 2024 in the comments below <laughs> i'm gonna try justin go ahead i know you're good we're gonna try and get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get some merch in this link here. Uh, probably do it tonight. Actually, now that I got time. Uh, merch in the description. If I get out by then, and make sure you oh, follow I also our Instagram. Wanna, I also want to give Tara and the Fox uh, two half-eaten candy corn. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> follow us on Instagram where I post a quick little image, and you know, if you want to follow. See some cute little pictures of he and I going, ah. We're dragging this out longer than it needs to be. I'm Gage with this is Scary Wisconsin. I want to give this hot. Stop it. Stop it. End the video. Good night. Is this Scary Wisconsin? You tell us in the comments. <laughs> I want to give two Don't stop. Stop. I can't. Stop. I want to give Tara on the Fox two half. I'm not here. <laughs> We already made this joke. Who thought? Who tell me? You tell me right now. And Tara, anybody who watches this, you tell me. Who thought that was a good scoring system? <laughs> How much is a half eaten candy corn worth? At least if somebody says Tara on the Fox gets an eighty six, most people look at that and go, "Yeah, it's a haunted house. I'm going to go to." But you know, if you're reading a review, <laughs> and it's got two half eaten candy corn, but. <laughs> I thought we were going to keep the swearing to a minimum here. Nobody's watching this late in the video. This is, yeah. If you're watching this late in the video, hashtag, comment. Hashtag too late, gang, no, if you're no, watching no, it this late. Don't, don't do a hashtag. We're not cringe. Just let us know if you're actually watching in this video. I'm actually really curious because I guarantee you, y'all are just clipped towards the, like, the 45-minute mark. Check the score. And like, all right, I'm done with these dweebs. All right, we got an 86 out of 100 this year. Good. We'll let these push back in next year. Um... I just want to know, who thought too happy? <laughs> You're really dragging this out. Who thought? Are you tired? You, you need sleep. You answer my question. <laughs> okay, fine. Who thought? I want to know the truth. Who thought that two half-eaten candy corns and a cracked pumpkin <laughs> would tell anybody? <laughs> a pumpkin if a haunted that if, if, <laughs> if a haunted house. Was actually scary. Well, it says here, Green Bay Fear got two pumpkin corn, two pumpkins, and five candy corns. <laughs> That's a haunt I want to go to. What if some of one from here watches our videos? Like those jackasses. I'm not going on. No, I, I, that unsubscribe button's looking pretty tempting right now. Let me just say this right now. Tara and the Fox was great this year. And if you watch this late in the video, this is your sign that you need to go. Justin with us at Scary, Best Friend Gage, merch link's in the description. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you right here next time. But we want to know one thing. At least we're not handing out tens. Is it scary, Wisconsin? You tell us. Have a good night.